welcome back it is liam fox 11 here coming back to you with another honest review good parties So as we continue to go over all the cars in the Los Santos Tuna updates, we are going to be going over Valka Warna HKR. Yes, it's, it's a bit of a mouthful. So this is a really cool looking bucky. This is based off a, I want to say a Datsun one, 1200. I wanna say that. I'll, I'll just put up a picture of it now. Oh, they did a really good job of it. Let me show you how much this car is on the website. It comes in at a buy it now price of 1,260,000 and a trade price of 945,000, which means it's under a million, which means it's a bargain. Yes, if you get it for the trade price, but if not, then you're gonna have to cough up your 1.2 million. So let us go and see how it performs stock. Okay, this van, not, not super fast. It feels like it's gonna be insanely good to drift. Use right. Cause even though it's underpowered, it wants to slide. So, I'm really curious to see top speed. I know top speed isn't going to be anything incredible because right now this vehicle does feel very underpowered. So hopefully the performance modifications that we do will change that top speed. Top speed is not, it's, it's not good guys. It's not good so far. Let's check out the launch. This is just going to be one of the biggest burnouts. And I, I was not wrong. I was not wrong. That was insanely long. It That's what she said. <laughs> it took forever to get off the line with me going full throttle and letting go of the handbrake. So let us see now. The vehicle is not armored. It is going to get blown up in one rocket, which is sad. Rockstar does need to add. Cause I can take more than one rocket. So it is not the fastest in its class, obvious go. It is it's insanely slow right now. So those performance upgrades have to do something mental for this vehicle to be the fastest in its class. So since we are now near the office, let's check out the interior. Interior is not bad not bad at all uh it has a touch of wood which is nice gauges super clean so let's see what visual customization it has for us since we are back now let me just ask you to please leave a like and subscribe it would be greatly appreciated as i am still a small channel so any subscriptions would help out dramatically so let me just jump in and head straight into customization
Okay, and that is visual customization done and I am pleasantly surprised with this vehicle's customization. The mods on this are way higher than my expectation for it. I was expecting a few body mods, but this, this is crazy. Uh, engine reminds me a lot of the one, the 190 Z and I am happy about that. Yes, I went for a lime, for a tangy lime green sort of a color with yellow. So some people may like it, some people may not, but regardless, I, I think it looks cool. If you think it looks cool, leave a comment down below and just let me know your thoughts on it. So let me close all these doors and let's go see how it performs now that's upgraded. Woo! Some poos come out! That almost ended it badly. So, I think this is on the same level as the Karen photo when it comes to sliding because that feels like it's, that's what it was made for. I can feel already the, the change from the stock power to now. You can feel the difference and I am happy about that because before you couldn't feel anything. So it's a little bit uh, body heavy. It's it has body roll, yes. Let's check out launch. Smokes the tires. I mean, no vehicle in this update so far has just taken off and left. So guys, out of ten, do you need this vehicle? I'm gonna say it's gonna be it's gonna be a seven out of ten because you don't have to own it if you miss this one it's not gonna be a train wreck or you're not gonna be like oh my word this is you know why i can't believe i didn't get that one so yeah seven out of ten guys uh, i'm just gonna end it off here and i'll see you in the next one peace